Hello, and welcome to 72 PC's top five extra items for Phasmophobia. There are a lot of items in Phasmophobia, 22 to be exact, and it can be daunting for a new player to know what they should spend their money on and what they should just ignore. In this video, we will break down the top five items you should always buy and bring in with you. Number five, the strong flashlight. Yes, you get a flashlight for free every run, so why would you want to buy one? Well, a few reasons. Firstly, no matter how many players you have in a run, you will only have one flashlight in the truck. So if you're playing with more than one person, you will have to address this. So why would you buy a weak flashlight when you can buy a strong one? Secondly, it's just better. The size of the light circle is bigger, brighter, and can be seen from a further distance. Also, there's more radiant light emitted from it. So when you're in a smaller room, it's easier to see things around you. Number four, the motion sensor. This expensive piece of equipment is great to help narrow in on a ghost. Anytime a ghost or player passes in front of the sensor, the sensor will light up on the map and a beep will go off in the truck. When used in tight hallways, it's impossible for a ghost to get through without you knowing. So placing them throughout the house at the start of the match can help you find an area of interest. On amateur difficulty, this may not be as important, but on intermediate and especially professional difficulties, it is super useful as the ghost will not always give you strong signs at the start. Also, an added bonus to this item is there is an optional objective for having a ghost walk through a sensor. So take this in and get that free money. Number three, the video camera. Again, we know they give you one for free. So why should you bring one? Well, by bringing in an extra camera, it allows you to use them more as a discovery tool rather than just a ghost orb finder. When the ghost is being difficult to locate, you can place cameras in multiple rooms and hallways to check for activity or orbs. This is especially useful when you can find angles covering multiple rooms or long hallways with several rooms off of them. Another great use for the video camera is for equipment monitoring. If you place things like EMF readers, ghost writing books, or thermometers properly in front of the video camera, it will allow you to monitor them from the truck and not drain your sanity while you wait for the last piece of evidence. Number two, the crucifix. This item is a literal lifesaver and should always be in your truck. For those who don't know fully how these work, let me explain. When you drop a crucifix on the ground, it will create a three meter radius around it. If a ghost is in that radius and tries to start a hunt, it will prevent the hunt from starting. This is very useful when a ghost is being shy and you have to anger it to get some activity. A tip for using crucifixes, is to think about the size of the room and space them out. We always run with two of them. For small rooms, we place one in the center of the room and one in the hallway. And for large rooms, we will space them out in the room to cover the entire room. One important note for using these, each crucifix can prevent two hunts. Once it has prevented two hunts, it disappears. There is no notification for this, so keep an eye on them and make sure you're safe. Number one. The thermometer. This bad boy is a great item for beginner to pro. This is our favorite discovery item in the game and someone is always using it on our initial sweeps. In beginner levels, the temperature differences are so severe you can find the room on the first pass. On higher difficulties, it can take a pass or two for an area to cool. But be warned, the area will not always cool down. So while this is our favorite tool, it may not always work. In a professional level games, it can take a lot of time for an area to actually get cold. However, once we do find the room, this often gets thrown on the ground unless we have enough hands to carry it. While it is nice to have to detect freezing temperatures, it is not required as you can actually visually see your breath when the room hits that point. And there you have it. That is the 72 PC top five items to bring in. This is a highly subjective list. So we would love to hear what your top five items are and why. So please let us know in the comments below, as well as let us know what other types of tips and trick videos you'd like to see in the future. Well, that's all we got for you this time. Till next time, game on.